Hi, my name is Juliana Ray, and I am in the studio of producer Joe Pizzapia here in Nashville, and we have just finished our project. Making this record was a revelation on a lot of levels for me. My mom always wanted to see me appreciate the process of being an artist without needing to see certain results. This is a gift to myself from my mom in a sense. I really feel like I have felt her presence and I felt her rooting for me. What's thrilling for me about this process is just to abandon everything except the intention to create something beautiful that I'm satisfied with. You know, when I was conceiving these songs, I've never spent any time in South America, but I've always, always been drawn to those rhythms. I mean, even since before my first record. These songs were really my fantasy of that part of the world. My intention was just to escape into this evocative musical journey with these songs. I think we both have the same musical fantasies, so maybe that's when we kind of started to visualize this whole thing, South Americana. I don't know. First Joe and I, we started off um, just me singing and him playing. We knew that this wasn't going to be like a live studio recording where everybody's just playing at the same time and we wanted to layer, we wanted it to have a kind of a level of lushness and we wanted to be able to be precise about certain things in the arrangement. We got this wonderful drummer, Marco Givino. Marco brought his own sensibility to it, it was totally on the mark. and. In some cases, it was just spot on what I had hoped he would bring. And then in other cases, he completely surprised me in the most wonderful way. Once we had that down, that was like all the shapes and flavors were there. And then it was just a matter of enhancing that. We got uh, Ben in to do trumpet and flugelhorn. The record has ended up being just what I hoped. It has this sort of lush, rich production. I just knew that Joe would bring that. It's kind of folky and organic, and it has elements of folk, but it's also like has rhythms and feels of South American music that we both also dig. And that's where I think we, we both hit it off. So now comes this bittersweet transition where we've completed the creative process and we're both feeling really gratified about the results. And then there's the question of, okay, so what happens next? How do you reach people? And for me right now, that's a big question mark. I'm not really sure. Everything has aligned in some really wonderful ways on this project. And I think I just at this point need to have confidence that the right people are going to hear it. The people that need to hear it will hear it. And of course, I'll do everything in my power to connect those dots and make that possible.